Sure. Mm. Uh, all we've been doing is improvising, right? Right. We just met. Right. <laughs> we never so, played before. Uh, yeah. How how do you explain improvisation to people? Like in your, you're a teacher too. So mm -hmm. when you're talking about improvisation, how we ex explain it? I think that improvisation is a very important activity in everyday's life of uh, everybody. If we schedule, it's good to plan things, it's good to make a structure of things, but we are forced to improvise sometimes because unexpected circumstances and things happen every day. In music, I think it's the same thing. As a matter of fact, improvisation in music is nothing new. The folk uh, uh, people, they improvise all the time, different folk, uh, you know, musics in the world, even in the classical music. You know, all these people, Johann Sebastian Bach and Chopin, they were improvisers uh, before anything else, you know. They, uh, they say that composition is, is selected uh, improvisation, right? Actually, you improvise and write. Uh, yeah, Stravinsky said uh, the composition is a frozen improvisation. Frozen improvisation. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, there are two different kinds of improvisation. Mostly in jazz, we improvise on so-called harmony or in the melody. But improvisation could be sometimes completely free and based on nothing previously thought, just free. But, uh, as we know, art is sort of a form, so we try to create a form during the playing. So it's instant composing, that's, that's what it is. Right. Yeah. Okay, uh, talking about improvisation, mm -hmm. uh, we just talked that you have uh, a record about you know, Beatles music. Right. How do you improvise on a very well-known Beatles uh, melody? For instance, could you sure play something? I'll play uh, the title song of the album, When I'm 64. Wait. Which is very appropriate for myself because I'm 64. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 